Hey guys, Stefan Kesting here. Super thrilled to be with Fabio Giorgel, world champion, legend, head of Alliance. We just did a podcast interview in which you talked about the idea of connection. And I wanted, maybe if you're willing, to have you show us what you mean by connection. Uh, we mentioned on, on, the, on, the, on the podcast some, some connections when you start to do the knee slice pass. All right? So let's start with the controlling the, hip, the rib. I'm going to start to do the, the, the knee slice, and the natural reaction of my opponent is putting the shield on me, right? When he put the shield, what is his idea? He wants to push and release the bottom leg to recompose the guard, right? So knowing that, and that's what I mean, connection, when you know what your opponent is going to do, you are willing to counter that defense. So I know that. Stefan is going to work with the shield. So when I start to pass and the shield comes, instead of fighting against the shield, I'm going to release, bringing the, the knee back and at the same time over the shin. When I what I have to do is keep his my forearm on top of his thigh in order to make his shin low. And then I go one and two, landing here on the fold pass, which is much closer to the pass than where I was doing the knee slice. When I get here, I just move my weight forward and start to climb to mount or even to step out and get the cross side mount. So every time, and it doesn't matter what position you guys are doing, uh, every time that something happens, some action from your opponent comes, you need to have your next technique in place. That's what I meant when I talk about connection. Can we just show that from another angle? And of then course. I've got some questions right. as to what the next step would Perfect. be. So let's say I'm here, I start to pass the guard, and I feel that the shoe is coming. So I block with my forearm on top of the tight, move back, and open my knee to the other side. When I land here, I get the control, so I'm blocking the legs. This hand I can pull the floor, I can hold the collar if you want. I just move my weight forward, and I can just keep moving do I get them on position? So now you were saying, you know that the knee shield is one thing that I might be doing, mm -hmm. or I might be doing the leg lasso, or I might be doing coming to the, to the for, leg. Yeah, for every situation, uh, I need to have another one. So let's say, as you mentioned, that you, you, you come to my lap. So I start to do the knee, knee slice, and perfect. You come right away to the single leg. What happened now is, if I don't know what to do, I'm gonna waste my time for a second and it's too late for you, you're gonna get up. That's it. But if I know that this is probably coming, when I do this and you come to my lab, I'm gonna return you right away with my knee on top of your stomach, right? So you have the lag, but your, you, you are flat, your lower back is flat on the floor so you cannot really get up because all my weight's on top of you. So we're gonna come through the, the shoulder and I start to press and pin your shoulder there to the ground and do the knees nice again, nice and easy, and pass your guard. So that's another example of connection. It doesn't matter what you do, I just need to have another technique right in place. So this is all stuff that you've developed in your sparring, in your drilling, in your training. So it's like, what if, what if you're doing the folding pass and the guy lifts his leg? Yeah, exactly. So when you try to do the fold pass, and you, let's say you're gonna, now it's about, I do one. When I go back to do my, my counter, you already have your connection too, so you know that's coming. So you're gonna raise up your shin. I just connect back to the knee slice. Right. Because you know that what I would do, but I also know that you know. <laughs> so it's about, who, who knows more connections? Who can connect more techniques are the best in Jiu-Jitsu. So it's attack, the guy counters, you re-counter, he counters your counter to the counter and back and forth. Exactly, and who goes further is the best. And of course, when you, this is the, this is the understanding, right? But in order to apply the technique, you need to know exactly how to do it. So you need to drill that techniques. You need to be precise on the techniques that you're doing in order to get a connection. If the first technique, for example, if my knee slice is bad, 
my connection is compromised, right. right? So I cannot really change because your defense doesn't need to be that, that good because my past is not good. So all the connections are compromised if you don't really do the techniques properly. So you need to work a lot of techniques. That's why the people should drill. When you drill, it's just to, to perform better, right? To accurate your technique, to be sharp, to be precise. And then after that, you're gonna have your connections much easier. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you, my pleasure.